good morning. It's 9.30 in the morning. Pretty happy about that. I don't often get outside like to the studio by this time. But there's some stuff going on today, so I'll make it worth it. I uh, finished up that painting of my sister that I was working on. And I thought that I needed some time in between. And yesterday I told myself all day that it's okay to take space in between paintings and to take a break. And then I got kind of inspired and just started a new piece. So this painting has kind of come from left base in some ways, but I'm excited about it. These mornings have been so nice. It's like, um, it feels like back to school. Like there's just that smallest bit of a nip in the morning, a little coolness. Today is a bit warmer, but the other days, the last two days have been a bit cooler and it feels like, yeah, back to school, like fall's coming. So excited about that. This is the piece I'm working on. It's from a night when I couldn't sleep and I found myself sleeping with my head at the feet of the bed. I did the sketch for it some time ago and yesterday it just spoke to me. So I think that I'm done. I'm pretty happy about this painting. There's some moments in it that I'm really interested. I like this like moment of ultramarine with the white in here. I don't use ultramarine very often. I'm really into this, this area down here that's sort of grayed out and really thinly painted. And then it coming to this area that's a lot thicker. Maybe I'll come back to it and see if there's any final touches that need to be done, but uh, pretty happy with it. Pretty happy with being able to just sort of flow state out a painting. <laughs> Time to go pick up some paintings from the gallery. I mudded the walls in the studio because they were looking pretty rough. I'll show you the damage. These are all the patches. There was just lot, like the, the drywall in here was just never finished. It was just painted over. So all of the nail holes from the drywall installation were visible. And then the cracks between the drywall. Honestly, I should have taped and mudded these, but sometimes it's just best practices don't happen. Today, sand down all these walls in here. And uh, and then I'll get painting and I'm also gonna paint the ceiling because it is kind of gray yellow.
campsite that I reserved today. I kind of planned to go camping, but I wasn't sure where to go. And today I felt really tired and I didn't really want to drive very far away. I'm pretty excited to be here um, and to just have a really chill time because things have been pretty full. So I'm pretty excited just to kind of ground down and just get a little bit of stillness. right now. My friends, my bovine friends. <laughs> now, typically I wouldn't recommend um, this sort of roadside viewing of wildlife, but uh, in truth they came to me. I parked far away from them and they've kind of come to visit, so... This morning I took down my tent and broke camp very early. My plan was to come to this walkway and have breakfast at the lakeside, but it was so bright out that I, I was like, no, I can't. So I walked on and I found the most beautiful place and it was in one of those spots that the park deems a good site. It was just such a beautiful day of hiking and just spending quiet moments in the landscape, just really drinking it in. When I had left on my little one night camping trip, I had left my studio in quite a state. This was one of those projects where the initial plan was so much smaller than what it turned out to be. And honestly, the initial plan was to put uh, trimming around the, the windows, but I couldn't allow myself to put trim up around the windows when the walls were as atrocious as they were. So needless to say, the trim has not found its way around the windows but the studio has been mudded and painted top to bottom several times over.
The studio is looking fresh and I'm excited to get back to work in it. I hope that you have enjoyed this little foyer into my uh, goings on over the last month or so. And uh, please feel free to leave comments or questions and subscribe to my little baby channel and do all those things that you do for people who make YouTube videos. Because apparently that's what's happening here. Have a great one.